Hi, everyone. Welcome back to Staking Recipes. My name is Ken Garofalo, and today we're going to dive deep and learn how to stake Solana. Staking Recipes is a weekly video content series where we put out tutorials, guides, and walkthroughs on how to stake cryptocurrencies and use various crypto tools. So let's start by looking at the Solana profile on stakingrewards.com. Here we can come and learn everything we need to know about Solana, from how many tokens are participating in staking, to the price, to the amount of stakers. We can easily see the two different staking types available for Solana, both Delegate Sol and Run a Validator. We can also expand this to see different options like Lend Sol. Today, we're going to be focusing on delegating Sol to a validator. We can see there's a lockup time of five days, an expected reward around 6.37%, with an average fee around your 9.78% from providers. So looking at the staking rewards site, we can estimate what our staking rewards are going to be based on our term. Let's say we're going to set it for seven days. We're going to delegate Sol, and we expect bullish scenario of 50% appreciation over that time. So I can see here, I can expect to earn around 0.12%, around $7 based on a $1,000 USD investment. We're going to actually make this in Sol, make it a little more accurate for us. Uh, today, we're going to be staking around 0.3 sol. So we can see in dollar terms and sol terms, how much we can expect to earn over the seven day period. So really cool to use this earn calculator to sort of estimate what our returns are gonna be for staking sol. Next, we wanna pick which validator we're gonna stake with. We can do that by sort of filtering down here. We have a full table view of all the validators on Solana's network. You can see it goes from first page all the way through 127. So quite a lot of information here to digest. I suggest sorting by balance, users, or reward to sort of see what rises to the top. And you may have different choices to make here. If you want to choose a validator with less users to keep a more decentralized network, you can go away from this view and sort of look at the opposite and delegate to someone with less. But if you wanted to make sure it's a professional validator that is not going to have a lot of downtime, you could also see if it's a claimed profile, verified profile or a well-known provider that you trust already. Okay, and for our example here, we are gonna go with Staken as our provider. Looks like they have a fair amount of users offering a pretty fair reward. Uh, so we're not too worried about the fee uh, based on a 0% commission. The wallet we're gonna use today is a Google Chrome browser extension. And we're gonna use this by adding it to Chrome. It's called Soulflare. We're gonna go to soulflare.com to download this extension. Once you download Soulflare, please create a new wallet and save your private keys. Always save your private keys in a secure location. Once going into the Soulflare wallet, you wanna make sure you fund your account with some Solana. Solana can be purchased versus BTC or USDT from many major cryptocurrency exchanges. Next, once in the wallet and having it funded with some Sol, we can click this piggy bank logo here. And it's asking us to manage staking accounts in expanded view. We're gonna click expanded view. And that's actually what's gonna show us here for the site. And we're gonna click start staking. You can also bounce back and forth between your portfolio, staking, swap, and NFT. You can view any NFTs your wallet holds. This is using the Soulflare extended view wallet. Next, we're gonna click staking. We're gonna click start staking. So here you can see the balance of Sol. In our example, we wanted to use 0.3. Let's do that. We're going to be conscious of the five-day lockup period as we knew this from the Staking Rewards website. We're going to choose our validator as Staken as we had indicated previously. And since it was Staken that we were looking to choose, we can just type them in here and it should come up with their address. Once you've selected your validator, you can click the Stake button. And it's asking us to confirm the transaction. We are delegating 0.3 soul to Staken, and we're going to hit confirm. Now we just wait a few seconds for the transaction to confirm on chain. We can even view this on the Explorer. Solana Beach is the block explorer for Solana, and we see the transaction has successfully been confirmed. As we can see here, our staking status is currently loading. And here is our delegated amount. And as we wait, we can see the status has updated to activating. Now that we're in the activating phase, we can see the inactive stake amount that will soon be moved to active stake. 
And from this staking view, we can monitor the progress of our active stake. And then also we can withdraw or undelegate this stake using the undelegate function. It's important to note, you also have this split functionality. Once your stake is active, you can split the delegation to another provider. Awesome guys, today's tutorial was super easy. And the main thing to look out for was the lockup time. And there's more details on the lockup time. If you look at the tooltip on the staking reward Solana profile, I would highly recommend everyone coming back to the Solana profile on staking rewards to learn more about staking Solana and for a step-by-step -step walkthrough guide written as well. Thank you so much for your time today, guys. Until next time, happy staking.